राम राम साह मैं जयपुर से छू केम छो हूँ छू कैजाद हाँसोटिया बड़ोडा शहर माती ओ भैया मैं इंदौरी यान कॉलेज रीनाना मैं भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश से हूँ नांगे ये रोड लर्न्ड वंदर कुम मी मुर्जा अमरोधी चाहे मैं हिबोहागर ओखमर यान कोड़कोड़ नान मैं नागलिन प्रासे हूँ सूरत या हूँ छू मैं हरियाणा से हूँ मैं गुहाटी प्रा I'm back in Chennai which is home from Pleasanton California why am I here why did I take the 24 hour flight and why will I take it every single time SaaS Bhumi calls the thing about India SaaS that really inspires me is that while Chennai is the home of SaaS in India SaaS is not restricted to Chennai or Delhi or Bangalore or Mumbai the best SaaS companies I've met today are coming from small towns talent is universal opportunity is not and SaaS is taking that opportunity to every part of India Uh, I belong uh, from a place called Sipsagar in Assam. Uh, it's in the upper valley of Brahmaputra. So we have been regulars at SaaS Bhumi. So we call it a, our annual pilgrimage. People who come here are real, and they stress a lot on practicality. Earlier, it was so difficult to find out companies who are in the similar segment. Uh, real advices, which which you can separate from noise. Out there in Nagaland and perhaps the entire Northeast, we don't have, uh, you know, a big network of uh, startups or startup founders or investors or mentors. I grew up in uh, Jaipur. Um, it was it's a tier two city, very cultured, um, very traditional in many aspects as well. My my father is a government serv a servant. My mother is a homemaker, and having grown up in that ecosystem. starting a saas company it's been quite a journey i mean a lot of people say how come you are running this from from guwahati but then you know you have got example stories already who is already done it from cities like chennai so i if, i feel that we can uh, we can have a similar story from from uh, remote towns or cities like like guwahati uh, or northeast india now which are going to be the examples from the next set of uh, saas companies to to start from i think uh, just yesterday uh, in the yesterday party But someone said like no one knows Surat uh, before you came to SF. And now everyone, every VC is trying to figure out like where is Surat on the map. So ultimately, you can be that flag bearer of your city. So we're seeing uh, uh, an explosion of SaaS. Some of them are bootstrapped to five, ten million. Some of them have VC-centric kind of a growth model. Others who are, you know, happy kind of building out um, very high-end enterprise motion. Many others on the PLG side. And our dream is a trillion dollars of market cap from India SaaS. I grew up in a small town in, called Hisar in Haryana. Currently, I'm based out of Bangalore, running my startup called Mantis. How do you create a world-class product? Because all of us are sitting in India, and a lot of them have already created global products. So, it would be great to get a sense of how do you create a product which you can sell globally. I come from a tech background myself. I have about now 25 years of experience in the tech, you know, tech industry. So, tech is not a big problem for me. But, or trying to even understand how SaaS can be. you know run from from india we need to really understand how sales and marketing works so how do you really present ourselves in in us or even in rest of the world and on doing all of this from a city like guwahati i mean that is our biggest challenge i think there are a lot of uh, rock star founders in the saas uh, community all of them are very humble and just eager to help uh, other founders it's quite uh, you know overwhelming and i'm a tech guy so i'm good in technology i'm good in building products but when it came to so many other aspects of business as a founder you have to be like a multi pronged you you need to know how to build a product how to sell the product how to market the product how to set up your team in fact so many of these aspects which were lacking in mind right i got from this community if a founder is able to run by ideas run by thoughts run by challenges run by their own vulnerabilities with fellow founders they don't feel alone a 
as soon as some somebody reaffirms that no you're thinking right go ahead or no 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 don't do this do this if that happens and we know you know that we are in the right direction double force comes in confidence comes in your team sees that confidence and i think that's gold right we have multiple second time founders coming up uh, we have seven women raising uh, multiple rounds and many that are bootstrapped and exiting and it feels definitely like the start of something very big of uh, you know with sats in india for women founders in particular so we want to take the time to say I was like a very introvert, shy person, very awkward with people and my co-founder is the one who would always push me to come to this event. For the first time we felt like oh it's so great to be vulnerable, right? So because you are, people are actually helping you out. Because we've received it from other founders uh, in our journey. Um it 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 it's a responsibility for me as well when someone comes to me ask me for help to help them as well. and make them feel comfortable whenever we attend any conference we are more like okay i'm doing this fascinating things that 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 because i'm selling myself versus here i'm trying to learn new things and that's why if you go to doctor you need to tell your problem right you cannot hide the problems first day of sas bumi it was called as sasx din was the first day of imoca so i launched my company with sas bumi and from there to a journey of a company with almost triple digit million valuation and raising series a i have learned a lot of things from sas bumi now i come here to share it with others at the same time learning for the journey onwards i think all of us shared one common vision which is the vision of india as a product nation you know my theory is back in the day the smartest indians just left because there was no opportunity so all our intellect went abroad and then later the services boom happened the intellect was somebody else's but the property was ours we generated services and goods for the world but today the intellect and the property have both come back and today we are the product nation that serves the world just looking at the thousands of companies and founders that we're seeing out here in saas bhumi um i'd argue this is a testament to the work that's been done by the entire ecosystem to build a product nation right over the last decade that effort to transition uh the country itself from services to saas is like is absolutely succeeded right na oru thadava sonna 100 thadava sollama madri